is that? It's a car sound. That's not a car sound. This is a car sound. That's how you do it. Oh my god. So we just got the eighth episode of season 14 of Bob's Burgers Worf Me Worry. And it brought back who, in my opinion, is the most underused character in the entire show. Big Bob, aka Bob Belcher's father. And wowie zowie, did I enjoy this one a whole dang bunch. Pretty simple episode with a funny premise. I love this horrifying clam. I love all the Wonder War violence jokes. I wish Mickey appeared. That was kind of a bummer. They're at Wonder Wharf. Just make him appear. The subplot with Teddy was really funny, and I enjoyed his and Linda's interactions. I always like when he and Linda are paired up for a B-plot with zero stakes. That's always very funny. The highlight was definitely Big Bob and regular Bob's interactions, and the continuous continuation of their story arc in quotation marks, because he's only appeared in two other episodes. So let's talk about those episodes, rewinding to season 5's Father of the Bob. That's, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> This Christmas episode is the first one that really details Bob's past with his dad and really just gets into his past in general, if I remember correctly. Not only is it a very funny episode, but it also has that good old heart that Bob's is so known for, with Bob and Big Bob's relationship being strained because Bob's different and wants to be an artist with his cooking, where Big Bob's more traditional. He wants Bob to make the tuna melt. So yeah, they butt heads, a lot of fun interactions and reflection on the past, and they end up reconciling a bit at the end and getting to know each other a little better. And I, 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 I it's cool, it's cool. And they, yeah, I love this end credits shot with them both cooking, doing the iconic shot to get, it's good, it's good, good one. Big Bob returned in season 12's episode. This one, I don't care. Season 12 has nothing to say. None of these episodes are good. But this one does have a good ending, at least. Too bad the rest of it was unfunny anthology shenanigans. Uh. It's very cool that each one of these episodes chooses a different angle to go with. In the first episode, it's really about Bob and Big Bob's butting heads. Bob wants to be an artist, where Big Bob wants to be a businessman. It's about expectations that Bob never wanted to fulfill that Big Bob really really, really wants him to fulfill, and it's an interesting conflict, and as I said, I really love that episode. In his second episode, it's an anthology, but also it's about Bob's mistrust of his father, not really taking the time to think about what he's saying and what it really means, you know? Big Bob always told him this boring story, only for it to actually have a lot of sentimental value, and it's pretty nice. Again, the ending is great. I wish it was attached to any other episode. So I, uh, I can't believe I never knew the whole tree story about, you know, mom and stuff. I guess I could be a little better at uh, sharing those things. Also, uh, maybe I didn't want to bring mom up and make you think about her and make you sad. It wouldn't have. I mean, maybe a little, but... In a good way, because we'd be talking about her. And I could be a little better at asking you things. Is there anything else I should ask about? Did I ever tell you about my other family? What? Also, I just want to say that the depiction of the strained relationship is, like, really good. It's very accurate to real life. I don't know. I, it's a... It's a it's an underrated aspect of this character, who's already a very underused one. I don't know, yeah, this ending is honestly one of my favorite scenes in the entire show. Can you tell I don't like that this episode sucks otherwise? Put that Ken Burns effect on. So now we get to last week's episode, and oh my golly gee willikers, do they choose another angle to go with that's also very interesting. This time it's really about how Bob and Big Bob are very similar, with Big Bob getting really into apocalypse theories, talking about the ice caps melting and stuff, and really making Bob nervous. It's a getting older thing, I think. Like, he's kind of getting ready to leave the party, so he doesn't feel bad about telling everybody how much the party stinks. And everybody at the party will starve soon. But the only reason Bob is nervous is because he's an anxious person who also thinks about this crap all the time. Bob's mistrust of his father comes back in a cool way. There's a lot of great wholesome interactions, as well as a lot of really funny interactions. I love that Big Bob wins this gorilla at Wonder Wharf and just freaking loves it. But okay, can we appreciate how infrequent Frequently, Big Bob appears for a character with so much story potential that they've only really just begun to scratch the surface with. And also, he's like, just really, really funny. He's only appeared in three episodes over the entire 14 season run. What? is that? I feel like Linda's parents appear all the time, but they are just not very interesting and also really annoying. 
Anyway, yeah, this was a really good episode. Another shorter review, but it was really good. Not quite as good as last week's episode. In fact, I kind of want to respond to a comment from last week's episode, so welcome to the Star Topus response to a comment show. At Ice Cream Hero 2375 commented, Really? I thought this was one of the worst ones. It was dull, there weren't any funny jokes, and there wasn't much going on. Okay. So, look, I called it a perfect Bob's Burgers episode not because it was a revolutionary Bob's Burgers episode that pushed the boundaries. It wasn't like the Rudy episode or Radio No You Didn't or anything. This one, I thought, was a perfect standard Bob's Burgers episode, as in... This is a regular episode done to perfection, using everything that makes Bob's Burgers so likable. It was very charming, it was very funny, I don't really know what you're talking about. And also it had a wholesome ending that made me really, really happy. That's what I meant. This part isn't scripted, can you tell? <laughs> Obviously no disrespect to your opinion, that should go without saying, it is just a silly cartoon about a funny burger man, but yeah, I thought I'd respond to it just because I thought it was interesting and I couldn't really think of like a comment rebuttal, so there you go, everyone go subscribe to Ice Cream Man numbers. So what's next week's episode? Um... What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you know what? I am in. Oh yeah, I did a community post teasing a big Avatar video, but I can't really do it anymore, so there will still be a big video by the end of the year, just it will not be on Avatar. Saving that one. Okay, bye.